Okay, I think I have time for one more recording today, and that'll be it. So we're back with part five of Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy V, version 2.0, and a new thing. Uh, Jeff, Jeff disappeared from here, and a new thing popped up here. What are you? Mew. Ah, the warp zone. Whoa, whoa! Did that slime cat bring me here? Or did I die and go to heaven? That might not. That might be more likely. Yes, this is the warp zone. The space between spaces. You'll see, um, this is the slime cat of the Grand Gallery. Yeah, the slime cats are used to transport you quickly around the world map. And here are two quest NPCs. <gasps> Amy! I'm a simple bunny person, and I love chocolate. If you don't have anyone else to give chocolate to this year, then consider giving it all to me. I'll give you a special surprise in return. Wink. She wants ten heart chocolate. Foes only drop these around Valentine's Day. You can give these to your you can give these to your mom. And one cupcake. Yeah, this is your Valentine's Day quest giver. And this is Chinese New Year. Jin. It's that time of year when when little red envelopes start appearing. But I don't think you guys celebrate this holiday. So you should give them to me instead. Ten red envelopes. And five gunpowder. And who are you? <sighs> Odin. I am Odin. Garden of this holy spirit realm. Feel free to come and go as you wish. However, there is one slime cat I cannot allow you to touch. As it leads straight to the temple of hell in the lake of fire. Really? You don't think we can handle it? Or are you just keeping some secret treasure for yourself? Oh, primitive child. Only legendary heroes who have defeated all the super bosses can pass here. The greatest challenges of all lie beyond this point. At your current level, you would be slain immediately. Say what? The bosses which you must defeat are known as the, S the Sisters, the Tunnel Machine, the Den, of Nin the Den of Ninjas, the God of Fire, and the Queen... And the Queen of Hydras. They are more powerful versions of regular bosses and are found in the optional dungeons. Wait. One, two. Yeah! That's it. It's the same requirement as version 1.0, but that's different dialogue. Huh. It just said before he would just say that you need to defeat the, the, uh, all, the bo optional, all the bosses of the five optional dungeons. Or four, four optional dungeons. Five, the five bosses of the four optional dungeons. Uh, four previous optional dungeons. Okay. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, it is. You also see that when you discover a slime cat, you'll get little background details, like the tree behind this cat and the statue behind this one. Okay, so let's go back here. Was there anything? Yes, yes, there were dirt balls. Okay, um, let's just do a little backtracking. Copper pipe. Razor claw, a rock hard claw broken off from some fierce monster. Eight wool and a belt buckle. So that clears that out. Well, not still need to get that treasure chest, but that will be much later. Can't get that. gonna fight you. I think that box icon next to the foe's HP bar indicates that we've already captured that foe. We should pay attention since I don't think there's any point in catching a foe twice. No, there isn't. There is a point in scanning new foes. Oh, yes. Dirt Boulder. 
He's lighter and faster than his bolder brothers, but also a bit weaker. He'll throw dirt at you to exhaust your stamina. Weak to bomb and water. Water, huh? Take this! Flops around like a fish out of water. <laughs> Capture. Danger. Got you! Hits all foes with physical earth damage, which makes them tired. The, I'm gonna... The Dirt Boulder is another great friend to have when capturing foes. Now that's teamwork. What if we start stacking up like that to attack? What if we try stacking up like that to attack? And done. Good. Just to get that dirt boulder, and then you. Get out of my way. Earth, holy poison. Oh, I should have. Oh, good, some Valentine's Day candy. I want to eat that crab! Why do enemies just explode when they die? Let's check out Natalie's skills. Lucky Star, basic non-elemental magic that deals very random damage to a single target. High critical hit rate. Fire, your basic fire magic may burn targets. Ice, may freeze targets. Ice magic. Thunder, may stun targets. Not very, very low chance. You see 10, 20, 10. And heal. Simple healing magic which heals one ally. <coughs> okay, so let's see. Fire. Roast it. As you saw earlier, I can do as you saw earlier, I can do magic spells. I'm not gonna be a pushover in battle. No, you will not. <sighs> Yeah, I should go ahead and do this. Yeah, you s yeah, Natalie's uh, <clears throat> just moves when you click on her. That's been a thing since game three, I think. But you'll pardon me for doing this. I it should be a metal. No. There, squishy. I don't like doing that, honestly. It's like, uh, but it's an easy metal to get. So, uh, my apologies. See, I can fight too. You only beat me back there because it was two against one. My apologies for that. I don't, I really don't like doing that, but it. It's a fan service thing that's been in the game since three. You know, her chest doing that. Even um, even on the main menu, her character art on the main menu, it'll do that. Even if you, um, yeah, iron plate, softwood coffee, good, good coffee, I need that. Even, um, it'll even, you know, it'll work right here. You can click on it, see the mouse, so you can click on it. Ugh. Yog hurts, apply that. But um, it's an easy metal. See, now I have 10, so now I can go into the Grand Gallery. Can I get out of here? Blast it. No, not that way? Okay. So I want to show off the Grand Gallery. I want... Well, I, not only do I want to show off the Grand Gallery, I want to look at the Grand Gallery because it's, uh, it's different. Just mark that for now because I need to clear that out later. I... Now that I have 10 medals, I want to see the Grand Gallery. There you go. Let's examine what's changed in the Grand Gallery. So apparently we've earned enough of a reputation to be allowed in here, huh? I guess we're moving up in the world. It's a very nice gallery. I, regu I visit regularly and help out with cataloging the new artwork sometimes. Lately there's been, well, a lot of artwork of us showing up. Eh? You've got fan art? People have heard of us? Seems that way. We got quite a few fans. Hello. Sorry, but I'm just. Hmm. 
This is the master's room for the most esteem the most esteemed room in the building. We only 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 those who have mastered every aspect of learning and academic achievement may enter here. That means collecting every medal there is, and that's no small task. That sounds like a hell of a grind. Is it even worth the effort? I've been in there, and it's not that special. But we gotta save something for the most devoted gamers, don't we? Yeah. This art has changed a bit. These these two pictures right here were not here before. I don't think this was I don't think this was the same or this. Seventy medals. No, that was definitely not there before. Because of the expansion of medals in the game. Um there's a lot more painting since the last time I was here. This place has really been filling up fast. Yeah, look at that. One could even say it's getting a bit cluttered. Painting shouldn't be sitting on the floor. That's new dialogue. Because I guess we're just super popular. Why else would people send in so much fan art? You'll forgive me, but I'm claiming this. Three cola. Three, three more cola and crimson razorback a guitar with an intimidating axe like shape axes and boost the damage of wind skills we could just hit them with a guitar like El Bong. <laughs> yeah that this chest was not here before see this art on these footstools that was not there before huh ah oh right right right, right. um some of this art, I think some of the art has shifted around, but see how it's 20, see 20, 90, 30 before. In version 1.0, you can see this when you look at, you can, you can watch um, Central 89's uh, Let's Play. If you look at his, you'll know that there were only, this room used to be a little more symmetrical because there were only two. There were only two rooms on this side of the wall. For 20 and 30. This 90 room did not exist. These guys were still here though. Let's talk to each of them. Show me show me the 30 Dow. Show me the 35 medals and I let you through. Otherwise you can you know can go there. You can otherwise you know can go through. Please bad English. Uh. Hey. Manlet! Manlet! Yo, I'm afraid I can't let y'all waltz in here, mate. I'm gonna need to see at least 25 medals before you can go inside. I take my job very seriously, don't you know? 25 and 35. And you are... I know you. Princess. Grandpa and Grandma say this whole mansion will be mine someday. I hope they die soon. <laughs> That's horrible. Spoiled brat? Whoa, what a brat. Yeah, she's a spoiled brat. She's like, um... Princess Morbux. S 70, 60, yeah, 70 was not there. I think that I think that was like a 50 or 60 room. Yeah, 40, 50, 80. Look at that. Just look at that. And this chest was not here. Chicken leg. Permanently increased mats evade and accuracy by 1%. Yog hurts. 1% for no legs. Lollipop. Permanently increased Natalie's health points by 2%. And these, these are gold blocks. You can't break them without keys. Okay. Who are you two? Yes. Raymond. Hey, I'm Ray, the owner and curator of this year Museum of Treasures. I'm sure I'll see a lot of you in the days to come, as you look like someone with a keen eye for treasure and art. I hope you guys enjoy your time here. This is my life's work on display. Cool story, old bro. It's awesome. Oh, hello. Helen. Ray used to travel the world collecting items of interest from every town he visited. These days he's a bit fragile and mostly stays home tending to the guests. But his collection continues to grow as more and more patrons continue to send in artwork to be displayed in these rooms. It warms my heart. Let's check this out. There's a book here that talks about some hidden portals to another dimension. Apparently, if you find all four portals, a fifth one will appear next to a corrupted statue of our Lord. What a strange story. Yeah, I'm sure that's not going to come in. Uh, that's not going to factor in at all. Yeah, I'm sure that's not important. Let's check you out. Gimli. My righteous drill spear has never failed to penetrate my target. 
I have been tasked to hold this ground and not let any lowlifes or troublemakers through. From the look of you, I can sense that you don't even have the 45 medals. Don't have 45 medals and thus cannot be trusted. I think I'm very trustworthy, but whatever. Leonidas! I am Leonidas, son of Leonidas, son of Leonidas, etc. And I shall stand here firmly until a worthy hero wielding at least 15 medals shall honor me with their presence and dismiss me. Oh, so you're the first one to go. Gotcha. But, um... Oh, oh wait, I forgot the guest book. Guest book. This place is this place this place is too posh. I felt like the guards were looking down at me. Two out of ten. Bella. Stupid pictures. I rate negative ninety nine out of ten. Chad. Did we come across a Chad? I forget. Tell me if we came across a Chad. A wonderful collection of rare historic artwork that everyone should see. Ten out of ten. Natalie. Because Natalie's the smart one. The smart and educated one. You'll see. But um this is actually a very, very, very special place. Let's see, how long? 16 minutes, okay. So, the Grand Gallery, which I think is in the free version of this game, you noted the uh, the special rules about uh, optional bo optional fights. You can basically find almost every um, enemy type, base almost every enemy type here. And you can battle them uh, just for, for loot. And to gain access to treasure or art. Well, most... Except, well, unless things have changed with the, the update, I only remember one piece of art that you couldn't get to. Uh, one piece of art that was blocked by an enemy. Otherwise, all the art you should be able to see without having to fight. But, um, this art, this is fan art. This is legitimate fan art sent in by fans of the Epic Battle Fantasy series. On display. Um, I don't actually, I'm thinking that I want to not go through the fan art until I have more party members in, because they, they, the characters will make commentary, but, um, maybe I can check this one out. Art connoisseur. Yeah, that's totally me. I'm not wearing baggy clothes to hide my beer belly or anything. I'm actually ripped, as you can see. Gurren Lagann style mat by Juo Kim. This was sent in by a fan. The creator of this game actually took fan art and put it in the game for everyone to see. Everyone! And not only fan art, there is concept art in this gallery. In every room. Well, not not the not the outside gardens, not uh, the gardens that connect here and here, but it's in every it's in every interior room, and and uh, with version 2.0, uh, the creator expanded the number of portraits. You can see it uh, here and here. You know these ones on stools because they were not on stools. Natalie made a comment about how it's overflowing with art. The creator expanded it so there's like I think over a hundred or maybe over 150 pieces of fan art and concept art in this gallery now. Just imagine that. Isn't that, that is amazing. That is awesome. That is truly awesome. And the Grand Gallery is awesome. And it will be ours to explore later because uh, we won't get the rest of the party for a while, for a long while, but... So I'll hold off on examining the the wondrous the rest of the wondrous incredible art, and it'll be a treat for me too because some of these I have not seen. A lot of these I have not seen. I well, obviously a lot of these I have not seen, or probably haven't seen. I've seen some fan art he's posted on his website, but um, this will be interesting for me. But I just wanted to show you guys that, and just marvel at how awesome that is. Okay, so now we will continue on. Clearing out every time you get a key item that affects your movement ability, just it's time for backtracking to clear out all the you know to get all the stuff you missed because of the dirt balls or whatever. This is clear. Next one is over here.
earth ball, brick, earth ball, geo, na a natural crystal formation found in nature. Very nice. Okay, let's down here. Clear that out. Good. See, if I had defeated this enemy right here, it would have respawned because I had moved back to Hope Harbor. But I don't think it would have respawned if I went uh, to the back this way. Okay. Let's see what's here. Ah, here's another medal that we can get. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I'm sorry for the annoying sound. Ah! Where's Satan? Look at it! It's upside down and red. It's turned into a demon. Where's Satan? That can happen. There's a chance of that happening when you mess with the animals. So, let's see. Where's Satan? Discover the demon hiding in plain sight. Squishy. Click on something squishy a few times. There are several ways of getting this one. Yeah. Art connoisseur. View a fine piece of framed artwork. Ah! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Uh, confusion. Get inflected with the confused status effect. Lose control of your body. Roid rage. Bonus skill. Yes. Uh, nice guy. Uh, the reason why I didn't beat down Natalie. Well, because I didn't want to, but a brick. And what is that? Sacred rune. Strange markings coat this mystic rock. Now, there is a... The game gives you a special medal for... For getting each party member to surrender instead of beating them down. And there are special circumstances to make each of them surrender. Like for No Legs, to get him to surrender, you have to hit him with a water attack. For Na To get Natalie to surrender, you, you, you uh, use the Cherish ability to make both character, both Matt and No Legs lovable so she surrenders. The, uh, the after battle dialogue and art are the same either way. But that's why I did that. Because I wanted to get that medal. Going this way. Okay. Break. spells are great against rocky and dry foes. If we're lucky enough to freeze a foe, we can hit it for double damage. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Tell me if you are. Okay. There's that done. Now let's get rid of this bat right here. Magma. I like my foes medium rare, personally. Butterfly wing, a light and beautiful wing, hacked off some from some poor bug. <laughs> Jungle flower, a rare flower with an extraordinary scent. Hopefully, a good one. Oh, ugh! Did I not? No, I must not have gotten it out. Oh dear! Here we go. disease-carrying worms! Don't let them bite me! I don't want to be infected! Those worms won't do that. 
Fire! I wonder if dry foes will take more fire damage. If so, using fire attacks repeatedly will make them even stronger. Why are you so afraid of bugs, Natalie? They're so pathetic and harmless. Burn it! When did you get a we Oh, right. No legs. Fire spells work, work, work well against plants, animals, and ice foes. Good! Oh, you are ripe for capturing. Get in the box! Ah, for... You've got to be kidding me. Wonders if he is a slave, too. Beast Tamer! Gotcha! I'll check that out later. I caught a... I caught a Leafy Chopper! Awesome. Nope. No mercy. Hmm. It seems no like skills are good at cleaning out damaged foes and then continuing to attack others after that. Yeah, they are. He just dances around and slashes away at them. It's really awesome. Okay. There's that. Can't get rid of that with the shovel. That requires something different. Armor mail. Camo jacket. A camouflage jacket which comes in different colors. Boosts the damage of bomb skills and two herbs. Yeah, the camo jacket will actually change color. That's awesome. Okay, not going to go this way. I'm just going to clean out all the dirt balls. I really need to get more skills up. 27, almost 28. Nice! <sighs> this is so much fun. Glass shards. It's a solid, yet, yet it's crystal clear. What madness! Super tape! It's super tape! Fixes things that move when they shouldn't. And two iron plates. Good. Okay, so that's... That's everything. How much coffee do I have? Nine. Okay, let's do that. That. And that. Skills. Let's see... Tundra. Advanced ice attack, which is a single target. Okay. Learn that. Natalie. Toxic. Simple biomagic, which strongly poisons a single target. Let's go for that. No legs. Yes. Not, not considering the problems with coffee lately. Nine lives. Heals all allies, gives them auto-revive status, and revives dead allies, too. Takes a long time to recharge. Has a 10-turn cooldown. Auto-revive status is basically... Um, auto-revive is what happens... Uh, is basically what happens if you use a revive spell on a living party member. Basically, they get a counter that looks like this. The halo with a number on it. And if the character dies while that before that counter counts down to zero, they will automatically come back to life. Okay. Learn that just in case. And let's check quests.
Yeah, he's new. Only two out of ten. I don't... Cutie worm. A worm that can heal allies and track other types of worms. It poses no danger to humans at all. Uh, that is actually a bit of a problem. Catching that is a bit... It can... The cutie worm can cast the lovable status on itself, which can make capturing it a bit of a pain. Cutie worm. Heals the, ne heals the neutral status effects of all allies, including wet, chill, dry, heavy, light, enchanted, and invisible. That's different. I thought it cast the level of status. I think that's an update. Huh. Eee! It touched me! Leave Natalie alone, you stupid worms. Please don't try to eat the da that dead worm, Matt. It's not going to end well for you. Still no Valentine's Day candy. I don't like that. Come on, game. Oh, dear. Staff. Druid Staff. A staff that commands the power of nature. Boosts the damage of bio skills. This is a weapon for Natalie. Okay. Wait. There's that block I could move. Right. So I'll just do this. Yeah, when you move blocks like that onto X's, you usually have a chest that drops down. Okay, good. Okay. Where's the current goal? Okay, over there. Well, let's head this way. Oh, Jeff. Hey, Matt. Stuff is really going down. The old, this old bridge is out. The only way across the water now is by raft. And ironically, the raft maker lives on the other side of the water. So we ain't getting no rafts, man. Everything's going to be fine. We know how to get across. We just need to go through the ice cave. We? Who's this girl? Who's the girl? And the cat? Are you ditching me again? Why can't we ever hang out? Well, uh, I... Maybe some other time. Ugh. Okay. How long have I been at this? 33 minutes. That's probably enough. Oh, I really hope I don't run out of time for the Valentine's Day event. I need to look that up. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, just a quick detour. Okay, so the Valentine's Day event ends on the 21st, and the the Chinese New Year event ends on the 25th. So I have that long. I only have that long to uh, 
get all the stuff I need. Ugh, that's not good. Blast the timing on this thing. I've always hesitated messing with my computer clock because I wasn't sure if it would mess something up. Uh, I'll have to look into that. Anyway, it has been about 35 minutes and I should I should call it quits for the night. Um, so this has been Emerald Lupin playing Epic Battle Fantasy V version 2.0. Lots of supr some surprises so far. And uh, this is going to be my last recording of the day on February 15th on its release day online. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far and find it interesting. Uh, I'll be back playing this maybe the next day or two. Uh, next few days, I don't know. Um, until then, please remember to like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Or share it with your friends on social media, please. Uh, until then, bye guys!